Yeah. It was like this that I had a police investigators who brought me out. Whenever they did renovation or a new construction, um, this was like a really place that rather looked poor before the renovation. I'm not supposed to know that because I was in the United States of America at the time when they did this stuff. Uh, but anyhow, the police investigators that brought me here uh, to drink water whenever we would be passing by, they told me, with a lot of other people on occasion, that they will try to fuck me also in respect to the water. They will try to find out if it's possible to block me access from obtaining water at the graveyards. Like this graveyard, supposedly, the man that I met the other day from Oclation uh, Funeral Services did, was involved in an enormous amount of crime. This guy did, this guy performed all kinds of crimes against me. So this is how he got the business of evidently. Uh, but this um, Jupnia uh, circle here, uh, region, belonged, let's say, to Otorchets, Creona Skupnos Otorchets. They were interested in getting, even didn't know how they would do that, but they dreamed about, they loudly dreamed about my even having the right to drink water here from Crayona, Skupnos, Otorchets, and so on, that they would try also to do something about so that I would not get, basically refill myself a water bottle uh, at the graveyards and stuff like this. This is a police invest, Slovenian police investigation. This is what the situation was in Slovenia. This is how things were in Slovenia. You know, I just want uh, the whole account to be known about this stuff. Police investigators had two watches. One watch was like this, it was a digital, or it was also whatever they used, whatever watch they attached to me. Regular watch, primitive watch, always a primitive watch, that whoever that will pass next to me would not notice another watch, which however was attached here. Like, let me demonstrate to you like this. So, you have a sleeve. The sleeve always was down like this. And you had one watch, a primitive watch that would be here. Then it would be another watch that would be up like this. With the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch always administering the incidents during which they would measure level of stress. Uh, they wanted to cause as much as possible anxiety and control the whole case through anxiety. That's what this torture was for. But I recall something else. It was not only about the Slovenian police who got this kind of Bluetooth technology. You gotta have an individual who would be tortured right here, like this in front of you. And you would have a psychiatrist that would be standing a few meters away with a reader police officer who would be holding the reader. Not necessarily even the police officer knowing through the Bluetooth what, who else got the connection to the Bluetooth and had read the results and wanted to rehearse the crime during the real time afterwards. But what's interesting I also noticed was when I was brought to United States of America and this was all American technology. This was all the British gave this to Slovenian side so they could do as much damage as possible. I, there is another issue I skipped. I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna stress that one. Or I should do it maybe right now. Uh, the readers, they also had them on the feet like this and like this uh, upon 
end of the this is like a, you would have like a like it felt like you would be handcuffed well, I don't know why this stuff did not come to me earlier but in the United States of America that's important also in the United States of America that's why I'm disgusted so much with this stuff in Slovenia this was a frequent thing they would have here all over the chest like dots like this obviously a sense they used uh, to measure literally how much damage to the heart was done what they wanted to accomplish was basically arrhythmia and it's why I found today when I read this news about turmeric uh, blood thinner actually uh, I found in one appalling when I found that on American website uh, Yahoo stressing issues about turmeric um, was about I don't know today or whatever it was article was involved in MK Ultra uh, and it was suggested to me that it is causing arrhythmia if taken in too great quantities but there is some other thickener too another thickener and this whole stuff reminds of the psychiatric hospitalization I mean, a little bit I'm going to explain to you why it was another thickener blood uh, blood thickener that uh, they used it was a garlic at large they used it in MK Ultra too it was uh, turmeric and it was garlic uh, however garlic had proven for me to be the deadliest and you will never figure out why the why the garlic was proven to me the deadliest the garlic was proven to me to be the deadliest because next to the garlic they have loaded me also with a C vitamin to cause as much as possible colon uh, intestine problems uh, and there was another problem they aimed at another problem they aimed at was connected with cancer it was connected to the glands to the gland cancer on your basically to the throat cancer how that stuff is done I'm gonna tell you exactly how the, uh, the throat cancer is created you load the person that is drugged up you load him you give him food uh, such as with a lot of garlic uh, till it actually really hurts his this uh, inside tongue area uh, you keep loading him also with the C vitamin uh, then what you do is and they created literally they created a cycle like this that would always give me certain patterns they created uh, that would always produce the desired result with which then psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, I, I would say Americans and British had psychiatrist Peter Hopsch playing with this kind of patterns that would literally produce a throat cancer or they would just it would just I could just feel basically a real problem all of a sudden something that was rehearsed during MK Ultra is stated over and over and over again so what you do is you you poison an individual and once it develops the cancer what you do is you create the dots through his body whatever whatever you want an individual with the cancer to appear that's basically what you do and if you if you agitate his throat with garlic with a C vitamin and then with the ice cream you get a dot if the if the presence of the cancer is in the body you will immediately get the dot that will actually explode into a cancer unless individual is I don't know maybe for me this is not so effective this cancer on me because they play with this shit already since I was little and it's possible I have no idea how I get away with this stuff um, you understand this is a very disgusting stuff you have done and here I have my international society uh, when they would 
deliver me to these locations around the world, the remote locations around the world, uh, the main tool of poisoning, the main tool of poisoning, of causing these problems, uh, in fact, was based on a sleep, sleep deprivation. It was known as a burner, as a hard burn, hard burning heart, basically without allowing one to sleep and just have one meet a lot of people, more people than what you can count. And every one of these people would have his scenario. I'm not saying that all the people are bad. I'm not even saying the people are bad. But uh, obviously their right was solely limited to what I stated. And it's interesting that when I contact many of these people, these people pretend like they don't, uh, like they don't know you, basically. They made algorithm at YouTube designed literally that would push upwards uh, the people who, who were involved in MK Ultra, their videos, and they would get paid based on that algorithm, on those numbers of views, pushing other people down and so on. This is how they promoted this crime, if you want to call this crime, or if you want to call this mother of all crimes. Um, As to some other people, numerous people that were involved in it, I see, uh, they pose with the totally fake profiles, but are real pictures. Real pictures, pictures they have taken that unmistakably uh, I recognize in people and so on, and they'll paste to you, they'll they, they post to you with the name Mary Lou or John Mary or Frank John or uh, I don't know Julia Amanda or something like this with this kind of names all over the Facebook uh, asking how are you, who are you, where are you from, this and that just to basically steal your time as if you would dedicate your time to this photos to these issues and identify people, they wouldn't give you any fucking feedback about, yes, that's right, that's me, whatever. Uh, no, they do this shit, they use a fake profiles, basically. That's how US government is doing this stuff. They, they use fake people, fake profiles, will have them post and basically steal your valuable, very much valuable time so that you would not complete your complaint and push down further through authorities against this criminal network that is based in London, basically. Buckingham Palace. This is, this is, this is, this is as criminal as it gets. But I'm not surprised, based on what I see is happening <laughs> uh, around the world. It doesn't shock me. The whole thing is heading to well, that's, that's how it all worked. That's how they do it. I got about 20 years of nothing other but certainty, assurance from the people that ranked atop of the sports that this is going to be my last one. They were so sure they fucked me up uh, with obviously arrhythmia and it i find this bizarre because you no know, i find it bizarre because they wrote about this they, they started to talk about all right i'm gonna go one more time this way then i'm gonna disappear in the in the dark but yeah, i find this bizarre insane actually because um how the fuck you go and you write about this stuff now about this turmeric uh, blood thickener connection, obviously also garlic with uh, heart arrhythmia. How the fuck you do it? Because 
When I was in Britain, because when I was in the United States and in front of the physicians, it was established that they actually did accomplish even arrhythmia in me through, I guess saying, my visiting Hawaii or visiting, let's say, I don't know, Japan or visiting maybe uh, whatever location, exotic location around the world without fucking sleep like for 30 days you know how beautiful that was you know what kind of this is not cynism but you know what kind of culture the fuck this is the thing is it's going right to the top this isn't going through some kind of uneducated workers or something like this as they like to say you know some are whores others are filthy workers uh you know we have all this lower classes of the people this shit is tracing straight to the top. It was like this with the British royals. They would take me to these islands. Fucking sleep deprived with pain in your heart all over your body. Can you imagine? It's beautiful. You only get to smile, you bring some nice girls next to it, to the individual that is all beaten up, broken with electroshocks, destroyed, decimated to the pulp. So you get your excuse how actually it wasn't that bad, right? Uh, this shit is identical, on a, it was based on identical principle. And I know so, as I, I'm gonna repeat, because it was established, this stuff about the blood thickener issues, garlic, turmeric. At the end of MK Ultra, it was established in like, you know, you told me for 25 years to eat turmeric, to eat garlic, that it's good for the cancer. Thanks God, luckily for me, I never consumed any garlic and I never consumed any turmeric in my real life. Because if I would have, I think I wouldn't be here. I do it now because now I have to. Now I do. Because if the cancer gets out of hand, I have to use it to get by. Uh, but this is what made my life a little longer. Uh, exactly the same principle when I think about this stuff as to what it applied to psychiatric medications. Same shit. With the British Royals, London, checking me. They always had these top physicians over there in London in these hospitals. Like really impressive. Top physicians, like top healthcare system. They use their special doctors. They use only their doctors. They don't use any doctors. They have their own doctor for this, they another one for that. And that then breaks down into people that actually are present all the time when they're doing uh, all kinds of analysis, whatever it is they require to be done. Um, it's not about like, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a medical check actually to see how Mr. Trump is doing, if he can pass his medical test or something like that. These people have tests done all the time. They have these physicians checking them all the time basically ensuring this is like their remember like top priority basically talking about the british royals so this guy who liked me a lot this physicians these british physicians i think they they liked me a lot or it, it, i mean if they didn't like me and if they somehow liked then this these are beasts i mean but here is how it is these people claimed that this psychiatric medication they are giving me I am, i'm not certain what exactly what the damage was done was it on the liver or was it on a kidney i think it was had to do with the kidney with the kidneys they went on and make ballistic alarm like total panic like stressing the issues in front of royals to me that uh, and if it was not royals present, if the royals sent me with somebody else, whatever the case might have been, 
uh, that this and this and this is the situation. If he's not going to stop taking that stuff, uh, he's going to, uh, his uh, liver kidney are going to uh, give up on him. Uh, and they repeated this shit like, like on a two or three occasions more. Uh, on which one occasion this physician that I would definitely recognize, he had like a little beard, skinny guy, slender guy, and this guy was involved already since, <sighs> I don't know, definitely, definitely 95. It was a young man back then. And British guy, I think quite tall, uh, at least six, slender, uh, a little beard, and um, he went ballistic. He said, uh, he told him, what do you, I already told you about this things and this and that, uh, why are you keep doing this uh, with him when he is uh, you know, the last time we did this, this time we did this, it was like a six months later, they did another check of this, how this progress, how, how much progress of this poison making on my body. And uh, he was, he went ballistic, basically. He, he lambasted his people, telling them, I already told you about this stuff and so on and so forth. Uh, I told the other guy and this in front of him already and so on and so forth. Um, if he didn't fake, I wouldn't even suspect that kind of stuff. I mean, this, this was in Britain and all this stuff. Of, the truth is, million people was involved in this thing with thousand different medical theories they involved in it. I would not even bet into, into any of this stuff. But uh, I remember the pain, how much I suffered. I remember what it meant, the heart burning. Burner, they, they, they example me this with the uh, jet fighters and always demonstrate, you know, burner, burner. And they demonstrate it in, like on a laptop or even in real time. And we're making really sadistic fun of basically the stuff what went on with me in respect to sleep deprivation. What I'm trying to say is this shit with the blood thickener, uh, turmeric and all that. So this, this is the same thing, isn't it? I mean, what exactly is the difference between this kind of system? Exactly the same concept. Uh, but they portray this to the mainstream media and to the people involved in it like they worry about, like they care, like it's like... Uh, like, like it's a big deal or something like this, come on. And I think this is exactly how they make more damage than with anything else. Because the person is fucked, the person is hunted, haunted, when person uh, is open for attacks, for assaults, uh, doesn't come enough to his conscience, to his mind to understand uh, that, <laughs> I'm not going to say that sometimes it's better to have Nobody, sometimes it's even better to have uh, to do with no one. It's better to have to do with no one. Uh, it's better to have to do only with yourself. This is what I did right now is I use like an average human being would somehow come to the causes to, um, to terms, all right? If you already would come to this kind of stuff, we're sure you wouldn't come anywhere, right? But what I'm going to tell you right now is sophisticated stuff I, I alone came to, okay? Man, when you learn, when you learn, now that's a big difference between what I stated earlier and when I stated when you learn that you only have, that you have no one other than yourself, uh, you at least learn that you have at least one person. That's basically yourself. But when you don't even understand that 
you are in it all by yourself, uh, you don't have anyone. You don't even have yourself. Learn here is basically the main thing. I have to go and leak, uh, but that's what this is about, basically, learning.